Good evening, everybody, and welcome into the Lake Martin Sports Roundup show here at JR Sports Bar and Grill. Brett Pritchard here with you tonight. We've got a very special show uh, that we're going to bring to you tonight, and uh, I'm glad to have one of my good friends, Scott Meacham, up here uh, to kind of share this moment and kind of talk to everybody about what's going on. One of our very dear friends, uh, Wes, Wesley Coleman, I call him Wes, uh, I know a lot of people call him Wesley, but uh, I call him Wes. But Wes is part of our, our group. He's, uh, he's called uh, games with us. Uh, he's been part of the radio network uh, on the statewide uh, side of things with AHSAA. He's also part of our Wildcat Network football uh, team uh, on Friday nights that uh, calls the football games. Uh, Scott, he's a really good friend of yours uh, that you've, you've been a part of as far as coaching with him. Uh, in youth league and travel ball and all that, so you guys share a special bond. But we we just felt like uh, you know we wanted to dedicate tonight to him and his family uh, with what they're going through. And a lot of people may have already and probably already have seen and heard about what's going on with uh, with Wesley. But uh, you know we wanted to share it tonight and uh, kind of talk about it. But he he is uh, currently at UAB. Uh, awaiting a heart transplant, and uh, you know he's he's a young guy. You know this is something that that kind of hit all of us hard, uh, not only because of his age, but because he's a really good friend of ours, and uh, you know a guy probably the last person we would have ever thought would be sitting in this position. But um, you know I'll just kick it to you first, and, and again we're going to talk about this and how you can help this family that has helped so many over the last 17, 18 years here in this community, how you can give back to them. And, and, and it's not them asking. Let, let me just go ahead and say that. This is us as a group and other groups that have come together uh, wanting to give to them because of their situation and because of what they've done and what they mean to so many people, Scott. But I'll kick it over to you. You've been really kind of at the forefront uh, ever since, uh, you know, Wesley was diagnosed uh, with his condition to try to help, to extend, you know, uh, the olive branch in whatever way it can, you know, needs to be and helping get volunteers assembled to go and help with things at their house or, or you know, just to try to help keep things normal for their two kids, uh, Kate and Hudson, which is huge because, you know, their life has been turned upside down. Uh, but, but they've got a strong community of friends that, that surround them that are going to make sure – everybody's taken care of, but you, you started and kind of spearheaded the GoFundMe, which we're going to talk about throughout this show tonight and how people can give. But, but Scott, I know you and I both kind of were kind of hit across the jaw when we first heard this news. Yeah, and, you know, I think you, you said it beautifully um, earlier. This, you know, um, this is not them, them asking. Uh, the most that they've asked for is, is prayer. And, uh you know, when you talk about uh, Wesley and Danielle, uh, even Cade, 13 years old, um, he's in the middle school, and, and Hudson, 8, I think he's go, getting ready to go into the third grade. Third yeah. grade. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they, they've lived a life of, of serving others, and that started early on in, in you know, Wesley's life uh, from his parents being servants, uh, not just to their local communities, but to the church and, and to everyone. Uh, you know, his father... Uh, Billy uh, being a, a football coach and right. uh, an educator and then a principal, then a superintendent. Uh, his mother also being, you know, an educator and a, and a principal. Um, and so they, they've, you know, spent their whole life serving others. Um, and, and so, you know, I, I think you made a great point of, of them not asking for a thing. But, you know, when, when you talk about just being blindsided, um, you know, you, you got a you got a guy that's uh, he's definitely healthier than me and you. Yeah, uh, no doubt. From, from, no doubt. You know, from, uh, from you know, what he does as a career. From what he does you know? as a career, and, right? Um, you know, works out six days a week. He's a tennis pro uh, full time, and uh, you know, coach. And uh, you know, for everyone that knows Hudson. Um, you know, keeping up with Hudson on a, on a daily basis, that, that's a that's – That's a really why he's in shape. Yeah, but. that's right. That's a workout in itself. But, um, you know, it, it, it did. It um, just blindsided us. Right. And, and so, um, you know, what we've been able to do to try to, you know, rally uh, rally everyone together and, and, and help them um, in, in a time of need uh, has been an incredible thing to watch. You know, I want to go back and talk about uh, Billy Coleman for just a second and – uh, you know, the roots go deep here in Alex City with him and the family. You know, Wes and his family grew up in Coleman, Alabama, and 
he went to high school up there and ended up coming to play uh, tennis at Central Alabama Community College when he moved here and then later went on to Auburn uh, to finish up his, his college education. But, but Billy Coleman was a coach here That's right. back in the day at Benjamin Russell High School before he, he left to go and do some other things. So he's got a, a special bond to this community. And actually he and his wife, Shereen, after their career, uh, they retired back here That's right. at the lake. And just like so many people do, what a, what a great place to come. And, 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 and not only that, it brought them closer to, you know, their, their two kids, Ryan, Ryan and Wesley. Uh, Ryan and, and his wife, uh, Jessica, they live with their two children in Sylacauga. That's right. Uh, but they, this kind of gave them – a central location where their family could be together and all, but uh, but there's a there's a true bond uh, to the to the city of Alex City, but Danielle really uh, was the outlier here. She she didn't really have any roots here, and uh, Mary and Wesley and coming here uh, to this city, she's really kind of taken ownership, being from a teacher, and she's moved up the ranks now as an assistant principal at, at Jim Pearson, where she's taught pretty much her whole career. But that's where Wesley started. He started his career right. uh, in teaching at Jim Pearson Elementary and then, you know, kind of moved up the ranks. And, uh, you worked. know, anyone, anyone about our age that's had, you know, kids come through the system, um, they've, you know, probably seen Danielle at Jim Pearson. No doubt. Because she's, uh, I think, about 17 years now. So, right, right. Uh, whether, you know, she directly taught the kids, uh, you can just about ask any of the kids from high school down, right. you know Miss Coleman, and, you know, it's a resounding yes. Absolutely. Um, first grade teacher. Yes, first grade teacher uh, is, is, is where she started. And, and that's right. I, you know, she shared some stories about, you know, when her and Wesley, you know, came here, Wesley had, you know, a few roots uh, because he played uh, right. tennis at CAC. Um, you know, so he was somewhat familiar with the area. Um, but, you know, coming here as a young married couple um, and not, not knowing a soul and, you know, embracing the place, um, arms wide open. Right. And uh, taking what the community ha has given and, and actually, you know, been, been a leader and servant in this community um, in, in an incredible way. So um, th that's, that's a great point. You know, moved here, uh, made a made a point years ago that this is where they wanted to stay. This is a, a place that, you know, we all made friends. I, I met Wesley first when he was a tennis player. He was a student. Now, he ain't much younger than me. So, <laughs> you know, let's just go ahead and say that. I had just literally started working at Central Alabama Community College, and I think I'd been there a couple of years uh, when he uh, was there as a, as a tennis player, uh, as a freshman and sophomore. And, you know, back then there was a close knit group of guys and girls uh, as part of the Wesley Fellowship at First United Methodist Church, and I, I did want to talk about that tonight because they are are huge, huge members in in that church. You and I go to that church, and uh, they they established that you know that they wanted to be part of that that congregation and in that that church family years ago, and where they wanted to raise their kids, but. It started with the Wesley Fellowship with Sherry Basham and Jimmy Basham, who were the – Jimmy was the pastor at First United Methodist at the time, and Sherry, his wife, really did something, uh, Scott, that I, I haven't seen done since she was here. She took that Wesley program at Central Alabama Community College to, to a level I don't think anybody could have ever imagined. Uh, there were 150-plus every Wednesday night in the Arbor, and, and these students came – not just from Central Alabama, they were coming home from Troy, they were coming from Auburn and AUM and Huntington and Alabama State and all over the place just to come back and fellowship. That's how much she had grown that program and how much those kids wanted to be around her and around that program and, and to learn about Jesus and, and incorporate that into, you know, basketball and, and you know, right. events and things like that. So we, we had a church team and we played and, uh, you know, the Wesley Fellowship had their own team. So we played them in the league, and that was a lot of fun. And that was my first real interaction, really meeting him. And over the years, you know, in my younger days, uh, I was able to make a lot of friends, you know, that were coming through as students and friends that I still have to this day. And, and Wesley and his brother both, who played also at CAC, were, were two guys that I, that I met and and, and, you know, have been friends with since, since our time at CAC together. Yeah. But uh, the, the irony of that is he comes back and eventually, and we'll talk about his career later on, but 
uh, comes back and moves here and has a love for this place, not just the – if you didn't know, you would think he uh, – he, he went to high school here. You would think right. he's been a he's been a wildcat his whole life. Right. And, uh, that that's kind of what he and Danielle have. You know, I, I know they grew up in Coleman, but I talked to somebody the other day uh, about their career and they moved back to their hometown, and they told me they said, "I grew up there, but that's not my home anymore. Lake home. Martin's my home now because of this." And I think that's what the Coleman's have done. They yes. they they of course they still have roots in Coleman, but. If they if somebody asks them where their home is, they're going to say Alexander City. That's right. So. That's right. That's right. That's exactly right. And, um, and and to add on to that, I mean, they've been tremendous assets in the community. Um, Huge. You know, uh, like I said, we we've touched some on it from from the teaching uh, to the coaching, and we'll get into a little bit more of the uh, the youth sports and what uh, you know Wesley and I have been able to share um, and, and the fun we've had uh, in the coaching uh, in the parks and rec. Um, right. But just been um, you know not only establishing their roots here and saying this is home, but the impact they've had, you know, here, here in the community as well since they came back. It's, uh, it's, it's incredible. And, and, you know, their boys, Kate and Hudson both, I mean, they're, um, they are a, as lovable and as, as good of two kids as, you know, you could right. ever dream of having. And, uh, you know, tremendously grounded. Uh, and that, you know, that, that starts with, with grandparents through parenting. Um, you know, but just, just great kids. And, and will be future, really future stars uh, here at, at, at Benjamin Russell uh, in various sports that they play. So, Yeah, you know, laying their, laying their roots and their foundation here. And, uh, you know, we're just getting started here tonight. Uh, again, a very special show uh, that we're dedicating to our really good friend, uh, Wesley Coleman, as he battles uh, – you know, his situation at, at UAB. And uh, we'll kind of go into some, some things about that and, and, and what, the, what the outlook looks for him. But uh, he's, a, he's a fighter, and, uh, you know, I'm fully convinced uh, he's going to come out on the other side of this thing even stronger. He's got, he's got a lot left to give to a lot of people. And, uh, you know, I, I firmly believe with his faith in, in Jesus and, and what they do uh, as a family uh, from a Christian standpoint, uh, they're, they're right where they need to be. And, you know, God God has a plan for everybody, and, and you know, what a wonderful story he's going to be able to tell one day right. uh, when he comes out on the other side of this. But we're going to talk about how you can give uh, here in just a little bit uh, with, through GoFundMe and, and all the different ways that you want to help uh, when we come back. Stay tuned. More of the Late Martin Sports Roundup right after this. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Verdict. Can't fix your heat pump. Need a new one. Uh oh. What are you thinking? I'm thinking Dyke. Call on Kevin Kill and Sunshine Heating and Air at 256 825 4849, Central Alabama's premier Dyke dealer. So what's he thinking? Oh, he's thinking Dyke. Dyke. One of the top selling in the world. Now I'm thinking Dyke. Dyke. Comfort for life. Skag, the toughest name in lawnmowers. Unmatched quality and performance for over three decades. The clear choice, the best mower money can buy for work or at home. Top lawn care professionals and discerning homeowners know that Skag means productivity and reliability. Every Skag mower is proudly built right here in the USA. Don't settle for anything less than simply the best. Skag. Satterfield Outdoor Living on Highway 280 in Alex City. You want the best opportunity to be successful in life. You deserve that opportunity. Well, you just happens to be in our motto, central to you, central to your success. Your future is right now. Don't wait. Make your dreams a reality by enrolling at Central Alabama Community College. Register today at CACC.edu. Heritage South Credit Union in Alexander City is your community credit union, and they have been for over 80 years. Heritage South Credit Union proudly serves Tallapoosa, Coosa, Lee, Chambers, Randolph, and Chilton Counties. 
from checking to business accounts, to share savings to club accounts, to their kids club and investments. Visit them online at myhscu.com. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union for 80 years. Federally insured by NCUA. Serving East Central Alabama since 2005, we are Coosa Valley Respiratory and Home Medical of Sylacauga. Coosa Valley Respiratory has medical equipment and supplies, including oxygen to home ventilation services. We carry a full line of bracing, power chairs, scooters, and more. And when you trust Coosa Valley Respiratory, you are dealing with local people that care about your well-being. Providing quality home care for our community, Coosa Valley Respiratory and Home Medical, 201 West Fort William, Sylacauga. Give us a call at 256-245-1411. DHK Tires, Dadeville's full-service garage with personal service from hometown folks you know and trust. DHK Tire can get any style or make of tire you need for any vehicle at great prices. And they also offer used tires for anyone's budget. DHK can handle all your maintenance needs like oil changes and heating and cooling repair. Let your vehicle go all the way at DHK Tire on South Street in Dadeville. Are you looking for something really good for lunch? Are you tired of the same old fast food? Well, go to Buck's. Get a meat in two sides or a meat in three sides for the best deal in town. Buck's always serves up the best food, including fried chicken, wings, hamburger steaks, catfish, shrimp, and yes, of course, the famous Buck cheeseburger basket. And Buck's has dinner specials too. So if it's your turn to cook dinner, Buck's will be glad to do it for you. We appreciate your business and look forward to serving you. At Glenn Smith and Opelika, we're celebrating our 30th anniversary. Now you can enjoy hot July savings on Chevrolet and GMC SUVs. Chevy Equinox, discounted up to $4,250 off. GMC Terrains, discounted up to $3,750 off. Financing as low as 0% on several models. New inventory is arriving daily. We have over 200 new and used vehicles on the ground or on the way. Get ready to smile. Welcome back, everyone, to the Lake Martin Sports Roundup Show presented by JR Sports Bar and Grill. Again, I want to thank JR Sports Bar and Grill for being our corporate partner here on the program for a long time, I think almost 17 years now. Have I been doing this for 17 years? Well, I, 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 look, I look in the mirror and I go, yeah, I probably have. I've probably been doing it a lot longer. But anyway, JR Sports Bar and Grill is such a wonderful place, such a great community supporter. Uh, Chris and Aldra, uh, you know, they extend, uh, you know, their, their – their fingers to everybody out there as far as with help and didn't matter what sport team or school, uh, make sure you uh, frequent them because of what they're able to do and, and give back. But great food, you don't have to twist somebody's arm to come in here to JR's. They got great food. They, uh, they deliver to you if you're within the city limits, but you can also come in and pick it up or you can come in and hang out right here at JR's and watch your favorite sporting event uh, on the big screens here and hang out with your friends or your family. Uh, special show tonight, I've got my buddy Scott Meacham up here. Uh, we're talking about one of our dear friends, uh, Wesley Coleman, uh, and his situation. A lot of you may have already heard and seen uh, about what Wesley's going through and his family uh, with his uh, waiting for a heart transplant now. Uh, Scott, I want to kind of go back and, 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 and talk about, you know, the, the process and where we've gotten as far as, as this is concerned because – um, this basically happened at the beginning of June uh, through some episodes that he experienced and uh, through all of that and through tests uh, discovered that, you know, he's got a, a heart that's going to need to be uh, – he's going to need a new heart. Right. And, you know, going back, um, you know, to early June, uh, matter of fact, uh, you recall, uh, you know, Auburn was hosting uh, the regionals and the super regionals. Right. Uh, you know, and, and Wesley and the boys um, – had been to the Friday night game, um, didn't feel well at that game, and kind of kind of came home early. And if you know if you know Wes, uh, him leaving an Auburn sporting event early, <laughs> uh, you know, is unheard of. It's not in his vocabulary. But he didn't even leave early when Texas A and M. And I and I told him and Randy and everybody. I actually I kind of didn't even go to the game that year. I think it was 2012 where they beat our brains out. I said, to yeah, and I t <laughs> and I called them and I said, what are y'all still there? What what are you doing? I'm like, I would have – first of all, if I'd have been there, I'd have gone in the first five minutes and everybody would say, well, you're a Fairweather fan. They know I'm not. But uh, that just kind of goes to – he's going to sit through. It does not matter, it does not matter. what it is. So, That's for right. him leaving early. Yeah, for him leaving, you know, he, he you know obviously did not feel well. So, uh, when he, he gets home, um, you know, Danielle can, uh, can tell he's not feeling well. You right. Know? So, 
uh, go to the emergency room that, that Friday night and uh, do a series of tests and, and actually discovered and, and, you know, gave us some good information and set a plan for what was going to take place on Monday. Uh, and, and we're going to be referred to some specialists. And, um, but Sunday, June 5th, uh, after church, you know, even with him not feeling well, I think it's, uh, it's an incredible point to make. Uh, with him not feeling well, been in the emergency room, hadn't had any sleep, where was he Sunday morning? He was in, he was in church. He was in church, right. that's right. Um, and after, after church, uh, 11, 30, 12 o'clock, uh, he started exhibiting some, some stroke-like symptoms. And, um, and uh, we're able to get him to the emergency room. And uh, from there, um, a lot of the hospitals, um, you know, were on diversion, but we're able to get him to Grandview as soon as possible. And uh, so that's where, that's where we stayed um, at, at Grandview. That's where he stayed for, for about a week. Um, did a series of tests. Uh, they knew that, you know, several issues were going on. You had the neurology side, had the cardiac side. They started, you know, piecing things together. You know, the, the heart was causing some of the, the central cause, of the, the central cause of, of the strokes, uh, but had to get the strokes taken care of, you know, first and foremost. So uh, he's discharged home uh, wearing a life vest. Uh, the life vest um, was, was is, is designed to control um, – you know, the severe arrhythmias that he was having, the life-threatening arrhythmias that he was having, um, which can, you know, cause your heart to get out of sync and stop for, you know, periods of time. Um, so he comes home, and he's home for just a couple of days, and tragedy strikes again. Um, a second stroke happens, and that was the following Saturday, and, and then we uh, – then he's airlifted to UAB. Um so get to UAB, um, start getting, you know, some things figured out, more, more testing. And, you know, as everyone knows, I mean, UAB is one of the, the top medical hospitals uh, in the country, not, not just here in Alabama uh, or the southeast, but they have some of the top researchers, uh, researchers and, and physicians uh, anywhere in the world. And uh, so start to, you know, more information, more information, and um, – a couple of days after that, he suffers a, a third stroke, uh, which, you know. While in the hospital. While in the hospital. Which was a blessing, really. It, looking back to now. To be there. That's right. It was a blessing in disguise that it happened in the hospital. Uh, so they attempted to go in uh, with a, uh, to do a procedure to, to try to remove the clot that was in the brain. Um, it wasn't completely successful. Uh, it, you know, it, it was to, to a degree. Um, and, and, and that's when, you know, really start getting the, the news uh, after the third stroke, um, you know, get some things under control, um, and, and we get to, it gets to come home again, uh, you know, hoping and praying that some of the medicines and scans and tests, procedures, and, you know, at this point in time, we're, you know, 17 days in the hospital, but get to come home, and he's home for just a few days um, before, you know, realized that the, the medicines and the plan of care just wasn't, hmm. it just wasn't cutting it. And, um, you know, it, it was deflating, to, you know, to say the least for right. him. Um, you know, so we, we get back to UAB on a, uh, this was Sunday of, of 4th Ju of July. July the 3rd, yeah. Yeah, July 3rd, so right. it was the, the fourth weekend. And, um, you know, that, that's when, you know, we – uh, you know, it's re it really told that, you know, the, the heart's failing, uh, the medicines aren't working. Right. Uh, and we start undergoing a series of, of testing, scans, procedures. Got to ramp up another, another that, that's right. plan. To, so. Yeah, and, you know, just the, the mention of a, of a heart transplant, that's not, um, that's not something that you talk about today and it's done tomorrow. No. You know, no. Uh, there is, um, you know, so so many tests and and scans and things they have to look at right. um you know before a decision like that can can be made and um, you know meanwhile then let me just interject this meanwhile you got a family you're still trying to rate life goes on you know right. while you're going through all of this uh the world doesn't stop turning i i can personally attest to uh the how how awesome uab is because uh, my daughter was born premature, and we we spent 93 days up there uh, in 2008, uh, going into That's 2009. Right. So I, I I personally understand uh, what what it means and, and how how quickly your world can be flipped upside down. And 
you know, you can be just trudging along and, and, and things just be turned up on their head. So that's, that's what they're faced – that's basically at this point what they're faced with. Yeah, and, and in the midst of this, so to, today would be uh, day 31 in the hospital. Uh, but in the, in the midst of this, um, knowing that, you know, Danielle is with Wesley – Right. But there's two kids back at home and and who who has stepped up and and being, you know, the the taxi driver, she's being the the mother, she's getting to all the sporting events, keeping life going for those right. two boys and that's Miss Shereen. That's and, right. And that goes back to the woman we talked about earlier, Wes's mother that has lived a life uh, of of serving others and and here she is again with her own son being in the hospital, but right. knowing the importance of keeping things as normal as possible for Kate and Hudson. Which, and is, which is very tough. And, very, you know, very tough. Because she's a mother, and her son That's right. is the one going through all of this. That's right. But at the meantime, she's pulling double duty of, of trying to take care of her grandkids. That's and Which right. is, uh, I know she's up to the task. She, she knows it. And uh, uh, what can't think of anybody better to, to handle the, the situation than her. Uh, Scott, I know we're up against a break. We're real, real quick, I, w- I do want to say that, um, you know, the GoFundMe is out there uh, for anybody that wants to give. It doesn't matter. You don't have to put your name to it. It can be anonymous. Uh, you can put your name on, on the, uh, the donation if you'd like. But any amount, because you, we don't have any idea. They don't have any idea of how much this is going to cost and when it's going to, going to end. And right. so, you know, this is an ongoing fluid situation that they're going to need help with. That uh, and then that money is going to go to anything uh, to help their situation. Right. And uh, we want to we want to make mention every segment that the GoFundMe is out there. Um, and without it, a direct link, I mean, it can, you can go to GoFundMe, type in Wesley Coleman, um, and I it'll t- pull it up. I, I tell people uh, if there's more than one Wesley Coleman out there on GoFundMe. Uh, the the picture uh, of the All American family. You'll you'll when you see that picture, that's uh you know right. you, you know you're at the right one. That's exactly right. So uh, the GoFundMe is out there if you're looking for a way to give. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, and and so many have so far. It's only been up for about three days, and it's amazing to, to see uh, to what's to see what's going on and to see all the great donations that are coming in. We're going to take a break. We come back. We're going to share some more about Wesley Coleman when we come back. Why is Sarah Automotive Group on Highway 280 in Sillicaga the place for the best deals on your new ride? Three compelling reasons. One, with three full new car dealers on one lot, you get the best in comparison and incentives on Fords, Hondas, and Nissan with unmatched selection. Two, Sarah pays over market value for your trade to maintain East Central Alabama's best pre-owned vehicle selection and sale. And three, the Sarah Automotive price won't be beat and delivers lower payments and huge value on your next buy. Shop online or on Highway 280 in Silicon. You want the best opportunity to be successful in life. You deserve that opportunity. Well, you just happens to be in our motto, central to you, central to your success. Your future is right now. Don't wait. Make your dreams a reality by enrolling at Central Alabama Community College. Register today at CACC.edu. At Russell Medical, our transitional care unit is a great alternative to nursing home care after a medical or surgical hospital stay. Transitional care increases strength and endurance through skilled nursing and therapy programs to promote a safe return home. Enjoy on-site therapy, private rooms, an activity center, and more. Call Russell Medical today to see if our transitional care unit is the right care for you. DHK Tires, Dadeville's full-service garage with personal service from hometown folks you know and trust. DHK Tire can get any style or make of tire you need for any vehicle at great prices. And they also offer used tires for anyone's budget. DHK can handle all your maintenance needs like oil changes and heating and cooling repair. Let your vehicle go all the way at DHK Tire on South Street in Dadeville. Are you looking for something really good for lunch? Are you tired of the same old fast food? Well, go to Buck's. Get a meat in two sides or a meat in three sides for the best deal in town. Buck's always serves up the best food, including fried chicken, 
wings, hamburger steaks, catfish, shrimp, and yes, of course, the famous Buck Cheeseburger Basket. And Buck's has dinner specials too. So if it's your turn to cook dinner, Buck's will be glad to do it for you. We appreciate your business and look forward to serving you. For over 80 years, the staff members of Radney and Langley Funeral Home have been friends in time of need, and we are dedicated to honoring, sharing, and preserving the amazing and inspirational stories of life. Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply Stores have the tools and materials to get the job done right, whether you're a professional contractor or just a weekend do-it-yourselfer. With everyday customer conveniences like a drive through lumber yard, price match promise, and our best rewards program, each of our nine locations offer top brands and building materials like lumber, hardware, tools, paint, lawn and garden, and much more. Visit today and see what Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply can help you build tomorrow. Whether you prefer bricks, clicks, or taps, there's one place built around all your needs for whatever it is you want to do. Even if your needs change, we'll be right there with you, making it all possible. Because you never know when a new addition will come along. So walk in, log on, or tap away. Either way, Valley's built to help you do you. Wherever life takes you, we'll be right there with you. Welcome back, everyone, to the Lake Martin Sports Roundup show here at JR's Sports Bar and Grill. Brett Pritchard and Scott Meacham here talking about one of our really good friends uh, that that desperately uh, needs your prayers and your and your uh, and your and your help in any way that you can do that. And and that's why we're talking about him, dedicating this show to him tonight. And uh, you know, Scott, he'd do the same if if it were us on the other side. Absolutely, that, that's the thing about this family. And and I did want to say in this segment that. I've been out in the uh, community several times, and people have come up to me and go, hey, I know you're really, really good friends with, with Wesley Coleman, and uh, I don't really know him personally, but uh, kind of follow his family. have heard about things, and, man, what a great guy, and uh, just kind of in shock about his situation. And uh, But so many people, just everybody you see just has nothing but good things to say about him and him and his family. And, and again, it goes back to what we've talked about to this point, uh, just – that's just in them. It's That's just right. they're just a wholesome Christian family, and they and they they walk the walk. They don't just talk the talk. They actually they do it, and 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 you see how many people they've touched, not just their kids, but uh, our kids and other kids. And I've, you know, Wesley and Danielle. I'll say this from a personal standpoint: are, are really good friends of mine and Kim's, and and we've literally raised our children together uh Braden older than right. than than Cade and Hudson but Brinley is Cade's age and they're in the same class and we've been on many many trips together all the way from Costa Rica to to just to the beach or right. to on on the road to to an Auburn football game on the road uh wherever it might be uh to follow them and uh so we've literally over time and I've been going through pictures and watched us raise our kids together so they they are very very good friends of ours and um, you know, it just to 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 know what they would do for us, and that and it, that's why it's so easy to to give here and to to hear people, and that's all we can ever ask for right. as as a person is when you go out there and somebody talks about you, what are they saying about you? That's you right. know, what what have you done? And they don't do it to try to get accolades. They do it because you know all the stuff, all the kids that that both Wes and Danielle touch through education. You know, as as educators, you come in contact with a lot of people. And you have an influence, either positively or negatively, depending on uh, how you approach it. And uh, I can promise you, every kid that both of them have been in, in, have encountered have had positive relationships. And, Absolutely. Uh, Wesley on the coaching side, from from high school all the way to coming back full circle and being the women's tennis coach at Central Alabama Community College, and, and really getting that program back to. Uh, to a national level where they compete and right. they were in the top ten and, and won the state several times in the in the region several times and uh, you can just see it and what he's able to do and which led to his current career as uh, the head pro at Silicaga uh, Parks and Rec where he teaches private lessons I know he goes down 
uh, to Willow Point and, and the Ridge, and he That's teaches right. private lessons there as well. So through athletics, they're you know they're kind of sharing the word and the and the message of Jesus and and how he acts and what he does and how he demonstrates himself. And the same goes for Danielle. Yes, ab- absolutely. And um, you know, and and talking about the the run while he was there at CAC as a coach, you know, looking back through some some photos today and. You know, in 2018, he had turned that program around so much and, and led those young ladies, um, you know, to, to such wins that I think he was named the National Junior College right. Coach of the Year right. by the Wilson ITA. Uh, right. So, you know, very, very well respected in the in the tennis community. And, you know, the tennis runs deep in the family. I think Billy oh, yeah. played tennis at Auburn, he right? He did. He um, did. You know, and so – all the way back to Mr. Billy's days at Auburn, where he played tennis, and then their tennis family, big yeah, time, yeah, so. big big tennis family, and then and, and just sports in general too. Um, you know the the love of of all sports, and uh, I think that's what also led him. Obviously, you know their boys, Caden Hudson, being so involved in sports, but you know it, it led uh, led Wesley uh, naturally as he was already an educator and coaching. Um, you know some stuff at the at the high school and. Um, you know, different areas. That's where, you know, got so involved in Parks and Rec and coaching, coaching his own kids. Right. And, uh, you know, that's where our special bond really started to take off. Um, you know, there's a lot of hours you spend out on that ball field. Uh, Been there with, with y'all, with, with your, with your I just did it coach. earlier than y'all did. <laughs> that's right. With, <laughs> you know, whether assistant coaches, head coaches. And, man, there were, we had such a group. There were, there were three or four of us coaches that it, we always knew – didn't matter who won the league championship. We knew what our roles were once we got into the uh, to the to the postseason play, and you know, never never you know an <laughs> argument across word. It's just we we did what we did, and it was just a you know a beautiful thing to watch. It was you know so much fun uh, as you've been there and right. done that as well. So. Talk about some of those guys that have been with you guys. I know you and and Wesley and Mark Worthy and, and Chad Calhoun. Yeah, uh, yeah, those were. Yeah, those were probably the uh, – it was probably us four for, for the most of the years. Right. Uh, you know, there right. were some, you know, in and out from there. Uh, but, you know, it, it was um, – you know, Danielle, um, she still still talks about it now. And, and one thing, uh, you know, and, and our encouragement to Wesley as he's, as he's going through this, you know, the – we would we would both when we'd have our nightly conversations, whether about sports or our lineups or whatever, um, you know, I'd I'd go out my back door to you know to talk to him late at night because the kids may be laying down and and he's doing the same and we used to you know our wives would call it the driveway talk uh, you know because right. we'd both be in our driveways because we didn't wanted everybody else to to you know not wake them up so uh, you know that was a that was an every night thing for us and it started with with you sports and it's just continued on. Whether it's us calling to vent about a boneheaded decision that Auburn's made, uh, or well, that that takes up a lot of time <laughs> in itself, uh, uh, or uh, you know whatever the case may be, but that was you know that was our time on a daily basis, our, our driveway talks, and uh, but yeah, so we had we had a core group, and um, you know you have a lot of fun all the way up until you know seventh grade, and then you kind of watch those boys you know uh, leave your hands and into the hands. You turn of, it over. You yeah, turn you, it over. You turn it you know, over. To, right to um you know to your to your school coaches and uh but you know it didn't just stop you know stop with the the parks and rec you know that's about the time that you know travel ball really starts taking off and and we know what kind of a beast that is and right. you know the traveling and um you know all the all the good stuff there so um you know just been uh been an unbelievable ride with him and and watching um you know watching all of us how much you know, when when your kids are having fun, it's so much fun for you and and us raising the kids together, because Cash is uh, a year older than uh, than Cade, and then you know Blakely's a couple years older than Hudson, so very you know very close uh, in, well, in age. Well, you tend to you tend to group up with with uh, with people that you raise your, your kids with. That's I mean, right. that that's kind of an association, and being part of sports does that kind of. You know, uh, you know, not not intentional. It just happens, and and and, and so you you build those bonds and those and those friendships. And uh, I know that's I know that's very special to to you guys. And I, I think back to to my years of of, of being a, a little league coach. And I always asked my son. I said, "Do you want me to coach this year? If not, I'll step back." And he always did. And about midway through the season, he probably wished I hadn't, <laughs> but but he did. And and let me tell you, you you're never too busy. 
because you know you're 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 looking at it from a standpoint where how do you think I can't get all this done and I, I've got this with work and this that and the other. I would not trade those years for anything because once yeah. they're gone, they're gone. That's right. And you know that's the beautiful thing that y'all have with your kids and and handing those off. It it's 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 bittersweet to see it come to an end, but you know. You've been a part of their life up to that, and, and that's all I ever wanted to do is I said, look, nothing's ever going to make me too busy to take away from spending time with, time with my kids. That's right. And, you know, another thing that, that Wesley and I, uh, Mark, Chad, I mean, we, we would have conversations, uh, you know, all the time. And, and, you know, everyone's heard this, but, you know, a, a coaching figure is, is a father figure to, to a lot of – uh, to a lot of people that you coach, uh, you know, you don't ever know, um, you know, the, the situation of kid that you may be helping out or coaching or Again, whatever. Again, going back to that impact, positive that, or negative. That's right. And and so, you know, we always tried to, to make sure uh, whether we really knew the kid or not, uh, you could always tell the ones that were, were looking for that, for that nurture or, you sure. know, needing a little bit of extra love from you. And, you know, I don't think I could have surrounded myself uh, with a with a better sidekick. Uh, and in fact, he probably uh, you know calmed me down and and showed me the way uh, on a few things as far as my my temperament, uh, whether my son right. made a boneheaded decision or something and lose my temper. And Wes was all, always that guy to hey, sure. End of the day, it's going to be all right. Now, I've watched him kind of lose his. Hey, he, now he can hey, lose I'm, his. I'm going to tell you, he's going to watch his. I'm going to tell you, hey, you know, you'll see a side every once in a while. He can lose but, it. but for the most part, you know, but that's part of it, and the that's fun right. and just the competitiveness and, and all of that. But, um, again, you know, special times, again, going back, you know, to me, and, and you know, he's he's been a guy that I've done outdoors with, hunted, and we yes. go fishing. And, and, you know, several years ago we were – part of a, a unique experience to be able to go and be a, in a international billfish tournament. And we actually, we didn't. We are yeah. on the boat that won the, the one, okay. And so in Pensacola, but that, we won the Pensacola International Billfish Tournament that and that boat ended up going on and competing for the uh, the worldwide championship in Costa Rica. We didn't make that trip. Right. Now we got invited, but we didn't we didn't make yeah. that trip. But uh, but just so many things that we've been able to experience uh, as friends together. We're up against a hard break. We come back one final segment here on the Lake Martin Sports Roundup. When the Lake Martin area wants country, it turns to Kalijah Country. 97.5, Lake Martin's best country. Goes like one margarita, two margarita, three margarita shot. With the house just keeps on winning. I got a wild card of my seat. Now his grandpa's never died. Lake Martin's best country is on Kalijah Country. 97.5. Plumbing problems? Every home or business has them. B&B Plumbing Services in Alexander City is here to help you with all of your plumbing needs. From leaks and clogs, kitchen and bathroom remodels, as well as new fixtures and water heater installations. Find out more about plumbing and B&B Plumbing Services by calling Jerry Prashears at 256-794-0531. That's B&B Plumbing Services. Always fair, honest, and dependable. Something big is coming. Something so big, it'll change the world of chicken sandwiches. Zaxby's new signature sandwich with Zax sauce or new spicy Zax sauce. Because the chicken sandwich war ain't over yet. The new signature sandwich. All the other little sandwiches can run along. We'll take it from here. Attention all women who have been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. In July 2018, a talcum manufacturer was ordered by a Missouri jury to pay $4.7 billion to 22 women who contracted ovarian cancer after use of baby powder and other talc products. The court upheld the record verdict, ruling that substantial evidence was submitted at trial of reprehensible conduct by the manufacturer. Don't wait. Make the call today. Please call 800-939-5681. For over 80 years, the staff members of Radney and Langley Funeral Home have been friends in time of need, and we are dedicated to honoring, sharing, and preserving the amazing and inspirational stories of life. You got a friend. 
our kids aren't the only ones who do homework. For big families, we do ours too. Like buying our first home, which was a whole different animal. We got expert coaching from Maria, our Valley Home Loan consultant. She provided a full menu of digital resources, which gave us the confidence to make an offer. Now we have our own yard, which taking care of is, well, a whole different animal. Finding the right mortgage can be daunting. We can help you through it all. You already know the power and reliability of a Mahindra tractor. Get ready to meet their ATV and UTV lines. Haul more and tow more. Do more. Reaching speeds up to 60 miles an hour, models have a 12-inch ground clearance and the ability to haul up to 1,200 pounds. There's a Mahindra utility vehicle and a model specifically to get the job done. Test drive today at Lake Martin Tractor and Outdoor. Serving Tallapoosa, Coosa, Clay, and Talladega counties. 256-392-3613. Welcome back, everyone, to the Lake Martin Sports Roundup show here. Final segment. Uh, Scott, you and I were just talking about, boy, this has gone by fast. And uh, we knew it would, uh, talking about one of our, our dear friends, Wesley Coleman, uh, tonight. And we kind of dedicated this whole show to him. And uh, many times he's been up here with me and talking about youth sports, uh, along with you and other coaches and and all and, and and Wes, let me say this, and most of you know this. On Friday nights, uh, uh, as part of our broadcast network crew, uh, uh, and me as the play-by-play -play announcer, Randy as the uh, color commentator, Wes handled our stats and kept us in line, and he was really my spotter uh, on Friday nights. He, he, you know, as I'm calling the plays, if he sees something, he's able to to make a note of it and stick it in front of me. And as anybody knows, a play-by-play -play announcer is only as good as the people around him. I'm blessed to have uh, one of the best color commentators uh, around in Randy who knows how to break down uh, the plays and knows what's going on in the action. And somebody that is as good as Wes uh, with numbers and being able to spot things. And, you know, maybe I'm watching this action, but he saw something happen over here on a penalty uh, that gives and me an opportunity. And he grew up around it. And he grew up around because it. That's right. Coach, That's right. So just a, a veteran crew up there on Friday nights calling Benjamin Russell football. And, and, and not just that, but the fun we have, being able to go on the road, take trips. And, you know, this past year was a special year for me. And, uh, with Braden being a senior, and, right. and they knew it was emotional for me. And the, the last game of the season, with it, so, you know, when we played Silicago on senior night, and us winning that game at the end, you know, I'd never done this before. I said, guys, I'm gonna go on the field, and and I remember Wesley saying, and, and Randy both saying, man, take off. You know, we want to be in your shoes one day. Right. We want to be able to experience this. Right. And so I kind of threw the headset down after we uh, went to, to that first post game break and. And I made it down to the field, but uh, just the the camaraderie that we've we've built over the years, and many a basketball state championship games that Wes and I have called in Birmingham together on the state network. So uh, just so much as you, you know, and I talked about, he he's was, been involved. Well, in. he was quite the basketball player. In, he was in high school, absolutely, um, absolutely. You know, he went uh, to a Final Four. Went to and, a Final Four, absolutely. Right. No, he. Uh, you know, and, and like I say, I mean, just uh, growing. We we've talked about you know, being raised so grounded and in a, in a Christian, but, you know, by Christ, great Christian, you know, parents, but also, you know, uh, Billy being a coach and right. the principal and the superintendent, I mean, you know, he, he's been involved in this and, and knows it from, from the ground up and, and, you know, all that from, uh, from an early age, all that he was soaking in watching his daddy be the coach and, you know, it, it's just continue to pay dividends, you know, all the way through up until now. Absolutely. Um, so I know we're in our, our final segment here. Uh, it's been a, a pleasure uh, talking about uh, Wesley and, and what he's meant to so many people and meant, meant to us as, as a group. And, um, and now it's our turn to, to give back to him uh, in, in many ways. It doesn't have to necessarily be monetarily. Uh, it can be uh, through, don you know, through a, a volunteer thing where you, know, you can help out however it is that you want to help out. But if it is, the easiest way to donate is to donate through the GoFundMe. That's right. And uh, you, you kind of got that up and rolling a few days ago, Scott, and it's out there. And let me say this, in, in, a, in a quick 48 hours, uh, there's been a lot of guys that have reached out from media uh, that, that want to tell this story, want to help spread this news. Uh, I know Rick Carley posted today. On Facebook, most everybody knows Rick Carley in the sports world uh, was the, the lead sports uh, uh, director at Fox 6, really kind of started sideline 
uh, on Friday nights, the, the post-game show kind of gives the highlights and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he does a really good job of highlighting and, and focusing on uh, stories like this that's been shared a that's bazillion right. times already today and, and had many, many likes. And, um, but there's a lot of other things coming down the line of this, of this story going to be spread. Yeah, that, that's right. And, and there, there's been um, you know, a lot of people that have reached out. Um, you know, th this platform right here is incredible. Uh, did you know, something similar um, you know, Saturday with, uh, uh, you know, a group of your – Rick uh, Cleveland Rick down Cleveland in, down and in Coach, Mobile. Coach, Mark's, uh, right. Coach Mark Lasseter has ties back to Ellick City. Yeah, spent when, most of his career here at Ellick City. That's right. And uh, so, you know, that's down in the in the Bay Area uh, and got to do something similar to, to right. this uh, Saturday morning. Um, you know, there's – uh, th there's guys on, you know, in the sports world on Twitter and stuff that, uh, you know, reached out to me this afternoon and where's, the, you know, where's a story, where's something that I can, you know, tweet or retweet, how can I get the word out? You know, and, and in the story, I, I encourage you to read the story uh, because in the story you'll see that their, their number one desire is, is prayer and, and uh, some way, somehow, figuring out a way to become closer to Christ uh, because that, that's that's put them in this situation uh, that, that they're in because that's the foundation of, of who they are, the foundation of their life. And, you know, if, it, if it's not a monetary donation, you know, sharing the story, whether it's verbalizing uh, or, you know, using the power of social media to share it. Uh, the more shares, the more people that it gets in front of, the, the better it can, it can help these guys or it will help these guys uh, because this is not just a um, – this is not a short-term issue. We we don't know, you know, we don't know the impacts and how long it carries on, and 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 you know the 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 anti-rejection medications and everything on the back end. Um, you know, once we're able to, it's a long uh, journey. Get a heart, a long journey. So, uh, you know, the the power of sharing and the power of social media is a great thing, and I encourage you to use it. No doubt about it, and and I think maybe the the biggest point that you made is letting everybody know that this is not. Uh, a quick fix this is a uh, th this is a marathon so to say this is not a sprint and and but Danielle and, and the family have embraced the road that's ahead for them and they've got wonderful family and friends that are going to be right there beside them every step of the way and you don't have to have been a best friend to this family to to be a friend if, if you know what I mean they, this they, they've already felt you know overwhelmed by people that they don't even know that have been generous in numerous ways, not just through money, but through other things and, that they've done. And I want to say, uh, I, I know that they'll see this show, uh, and I, I w I'd like to speak on, on behalf of Danielle and Wesley a little bit. To begin with, uh, in the first episode or two, she was trying to send thank you cards to, to everyone that had helped in some shape, form, or fashion. And us being at the, at the front Absolutely. lines and how everybody's rallied and gathered and everything that they've done, um, obviously – you know, as Wesley's conditions gotten worse and more people, people that we don't even know, um, you know, there may not be a direct thank you card, but I promise you from the bottom of the heart, they love you. No doubt. And they thank you. Yeah, no doubt. I think you said it best. Uh, I think we kind of got on to her. We said, look, <laughs> quit, quit trying to uh, – That people don't do that to get a thank you card, but that's yeah. just who she is. That's who she is. That's who she is, and you can't change that uh, at all. But, uh, but, Scott, I tell you, man, I appreciate you coming up here tonight uh, to do this with me. Uh, he's a really good friend of ours. Uh, we're going to continue to be in in prayer uh, till he gets through this. And uh, it would have been so easy to do another hour just because oh, I mean, he's, we, well, he, he's so easy to talk about. Well, that's I mean, right. the whole family is. And then again, going back as we close out, that's all any of us could hope for is that, it, it, you know, what do people say about you? Is it did, did, What kind of impact have you had on people? Uh, and, 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 and what way have you affected their lives? Right. And then they have affected so many lives in such a positive way and have helped. It's paying it forward. It's paying it forward in the, in the biggest way, no doubt about it. GoFundMe is up there. Uh, you can go to the Sports Blitz page. We'll have that posted on there, and uh, you, can, you can give through the GoFundMe. Scott has done a tremendous job of kind of being the, the person at, at the forefront to try to spearhead all this. And, uh, really kind of being a representative for, for the Coleman family in a, in a time of uh, immense need. So, uh, But uh, he's a dear friend of ours. Uh, he, he's a, a co-worker of mine uh, through our broadcasting, and, and I can't wait till 
I can get him back up here with me uh, one day, and uh, and then he can do what he loves the most, and that's that's call football and basketball right. and be a, be a coach again. That's right. Uh, where, his, where his true love is. So, uh, but that's going to wrap it up here for this episode of Lay Martin Sports Roundup. Uh, again, here at JR Sports Bar Grill, can't thank them enough for what they do. Sports Blitz Live coming up next. The heat is on, and nowhere gives you more than KiaOfAuburn.com. First, we give you more for your trade-in. Just scan the code to find out how much. Next, the all-new Kia Sportage is here, and you'll be ready for anything. Then, at KiaOfAuburn.com, you can custom order your new Kia just the way you want. Want more? Check out our selection of certified pre-owned Kias with 165-point inspection, complete protection plans, and so much more. Selection, price, trade-in value. You always get it all at Kia of Auburn. Kia of Auburn, where you're always number one. At Russell Medical, our transitional care unit is a great alternative to nursing home care after a medical or surgical hospital stay. Transitional care increases strength and endurance through skilled nursing and therapy programs to promote a safe return home. Enjoy on-site therapy, private rooms, an activity center, and more. Call Russell Medical today to see if our transitional care unit is the right care for you. Plumbing problems? Every home or business has them. B&B Plumbing Services in Alexander City is here to help you with all of your plumbing needs. From leaks and clogs, kitchen and bathroom remodels, as well as new fixtures and water heater installations. Find out more about plumbing and B&B Plumbing Services by calling Jerry Prashears at 256 794 0531. That's B&B Plumbing Services. Always fair, honest, and dependable. Are you looking for something really good for lunch? Are you tired of the same old fast food? Well, go to Buck's. Get a meat in two sides or a meat in three sides for the best deal in town. Buck's always serves up the best food, including fried chicken, wings, hamburger steaks, catfish, shrimp, and yes, of course, the famous Buck cheeseburger basket. And Buck's has dinner specials too. So if it's your turn to cook dinner, Bucks will be glad to do it for you. We appreciate your business and look forward to serving you. You call your agent with a simple question, only to get sent to voicemail again. We pick up the phone. I should get this. <laughs> Hello, this is Sam. How can I help you? Like I said, we pick up the phone because it's ringing. That's simple human sense. This is Sam. Russell DeWitt Center and Building Supply Stores have the tools and materials to get the job done right, whether you're a professional contractor or just a weekend do-it-yourselfer. With everyday customer conveniences like a drive through lumber yard, price match promise, and our best rewards program, each of our nine locations offer top brands and building materials like lumber, hardware, tools, paint, lawn and garden, and much more. Visit today and see what Russell DeWitt Center and Building Supply can help you build tomorrow. Boaters in the Lake Martin area know whether you need service, maintenance, repairs, a great selection of pre-owned boats, or a brand new pontoon, Alex City Marine at the corner of 63 and 280 is there for you. Thanks to a record-setting sales year, Alex City Marine now has one of the finest pre-owned inventories they've ever had. Repairs, service, routine maintenance for all your boating needs. See the pros the locals know. Alex City Marine at the corner of 63 and 280. Check them out online at alexcitymarine.com. Alex City Auto Collision on Dadeville Road in Alex City is the area's full body and paint shop where they guarantee all their work for as long as you own the vehicle. Alex City Auto Collision works with all insurance companies and has the area's best value on all our paint and body work. And best of all, you save car rental is on site so you're never without a ride. Trust the pros at Alex City Auto Collision where our business is a wreck. Alex City Auto Collision and you save car rental on Dadeville Road in Alex City. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. 